How's it going everybody? This is 1920 Prism Retail, three box break number 13. The first thing we gotta do, randomize all 29 names who bought in, cause we're giving away the Pelicans for free in this break. Don't think we have any more retail to post, but we will have maybe some fast break, maybe a uh, same deal Pelicans giveaway spot. So check in with Jason tomorrow on that. So we're going five times. Name on top gets the Pelicans for free. Four. Fifth and final time name on top, Mike. There you go, Mac. Mike McCarthy with the Pelicans. So let me print out the list and rip. Good luck, everybody. Box numero uno. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. So, last dance basketball mixer tomorrow. And then probably not a few more nights until we have another basketball mixer. You guys and gals depleted our whole basketball inventory. This past week or so, I feel like we've done like at least a couple hundred boxes worth of mixers, so that's awesome. But we got new releases this week anyway, Mosaic Basketball, that's coming out Wednesday. It's going to be a very hot release. And then Blasters versions come out Friday, so that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, I know. A lot of basketball. Basketball is the hot, the hot uh, stuff on the market right now. A few years ago, couldn't sell a basketball break, really. I mean, maybe not a few years ago, but like three or four years ago, we didn't do much basketball. But now it's uh, definitely the primary sport we do here at Jaspies. Probably basketball and then probably a tie for football and baseball, I would guess. And then hockey and then miscellaneous stuff after that. So it's pretty crazy to see to see the rise in basketball breaks the last few years. But I mean, Luka Doncic, Trey Young, Zion Williamson, John Morant will do that. Jason Tatum definitely uh, has part part of it. The the great rookies. There's Luka Base and there's Rondo Green. Kobe Silver. Rob W., your second one. Hit you one in the last break. This is break 13, by the way. 14 filled up before 13, so we did 14 a little before this. There's Casey Okpala, Ruby Wave. Yeah, last two, three years, yeah. I mean, the rookies help, and yeah, just the overseas market. There's Rui Green. I remember people this year were talking about how this is such a top-heavy class, like... There's no good players after R.J. Barrett, but definitely have, has proven to be wrong. There's been some great players in this class. Not named uh, Zion or Luka, or Zion or John Morant, I mean. There's Shaquille O'Neal Green, Chris Paul, and there's Grant Williams, Otto, for the Celtics. It's going out to Mac. There's Ruby Allen Iverson. Yeah, there hasn't been a bad rookie class in pretty much any sport. You're right. Uh, Kobe, Trey Young, definitely will happen at some point. Football doesn't look like it though. There's Giannis, that'll ship. No other veteran base ship except for LeBron, Kobe, Luca, Trey, and uh, Giannis. There's ba uh, Basley. Football next year you have Trevor Lawrence and uh, Fields from Ohio State. So. 
Football the next few years is going to be crazy. This year with Burrow and Tua. There's a Rui Hachimura. I think basketball may be a kind of a class down this upcoming draft class. But I've heard that 2021 NBA draft is like pretty stacked. Kill Alexander Walker, a little debt in that one. So this class might not might not perform like it has the last couple years. But then the following year in basketball, I think like Jalen Green and a few other guys are supposed to be like like three or four consensus number one picks. But like I said, you never know. I mean, people said the same thing about 2013 NBA class for like two or three years, you know. They said that this class sucks, nobody's good in it, and then a guy named Giannis Antetokounmpo came. First onto the scene, like, 2015. Started playing really well. And now those boxes you can't find for under, like, prison boxes are, like, 30... Or prison cases are, like, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a case. So, 2013. So you never know. Uh, yeah, Lamelo could have a uh, hanger. Or, L Lamelo could have a uh, potential. Hanger is up, Sean. It's been up for... Like 10, 15 minutes? Here's the link. Lamella could have a uh, hobby potential for sure. And that Anthony Edwards probably be pretty good, right? From Georgia. So, not not saying there's not going to be any, any good rookies. But maybe not like a Zion Williamson or John Morant. But yeah. Definitely take some time in the NBA. I mean, these these uh, these are all like teenagers. Most of the guys coming out. Football is a little different. You can usually tell with football first year if they're gonna be good or not. Maybe not quarterbacks. You know, Peyton Manning had a pretty bad rookie year, right? But like running backs and stuff, I feel like you can usually tell. Unless their team is just really bad. But even like, if their team is really bad, like Saquon Barkley, you can tell he's like a top tier talent. Alright, there's Carson Edwards, silver. Baseball, I mean it takes a few years for baseball guys, obviously too. PJ Washington, emergent silver. Carson Edwards, green. Joe Harris. There's Nikhil Alexander Walker Ruby. Yeah, he had uh, the record for touchdowns and interceptions. It's crazy. Peyton Manning. Ursan Ilyasova. It's like James Winston. Uh, Chuma Okiki. Who I, I think James Winston saw his potential. There's Say Kudaboya. Might be good to sit behind Drew Brees and play for Sean Payton. There's Jared Culver Silver. Nice one there for the Grizz. That's going out to Matthew S. Yeah, I mean, Bronny James will probably go for double what Zion's going for. There's Keldon Johnson. San Antonio Spurs. That's going out to Adam Kelly. Just because of his last name. It's going to be insane. But yeah, check out the 2021 NBA Draft Class. It's supposed to be like... Incredible, so I'm excited for that too. Alright, that was box two on a box three. But yeah, football, uh, hopefully football starts on time this year, but that's going to be a lot of fun. There's so many players in this NFL draft, so many skill position guys, you know, you got 
a few quarterbacks will probably sit for a couple years, maybe a year or two. Jordan Love, at least a couple years, right? Um, I think Herbert starts pretty much the first season. Maybe not the first game, but I think he'll be started by the middle of the season. I think uh, if two is healthy, he'll probably start, right? Maybe Fitzpatrick for a quarter or half the season. And Joe Burrow is definitely starting day one. Yeah, Bronny's in a freshman this year, so that makes um, 15, 16. So yeah, he'll be uh, sophomore, then junior, then senior, then... I think by the time that happens, he won't have to go to college because I think the one and done will be done. I don't know, imagine if he goes to the Lakers or something. I don't know, though. He could be just overhyped. Who knows? But if he is the number one pick in that class, I know his cards are going to go for, like, <laughs> insane amounts of money. I wouldn't be surprised. If he went number one, if he plays very well in high school, all the hype that he'll have going straight from high school to... Uh, to the NBA. I think he could outsell pretty much anybody. Aaron Baines, Silver Auto for the Phoenix Suns right there. That's going out to Matthew S. Oh, that's who it was, yeah. Amoni Bates. I, I saw that too. So, who knows? I mean, I remember a few years ago, people talked about the guy who got drafted by the Kings. He was like the top... He was like a t uh, the second best high school player or first best high school player, the Scalabissieri. But then he kind of f flamed out. I don't think, I think he's kind of a bust. So, could go either way. There's Porzingis Silver. PJ Washington Base. Emergent Zion. Mac. That one. Say cool. DJ Warren. Kawhi finalists. Your little and last silver rookie is Casey Okpala for the Heat. Sean, so there you go. Thanks everybody for getting in. That was Prism Retail 13. Coming up next is uh, Obsidian Soccer.